According to a Weibo post that cites CNN, the New York City Council have passed an anti-tobacco law that will raise the purchasing age for tobacco from 18 to 21. A second bill also passed will prohibit discounts on tobacco products and increase enforcement on vendors who attempt to evade taxes. The health commissioner, Thomas A. Farty, said that by raising the sales age, the bill will protect teens and may prevent many people from ever start smoking. However, some of the states and counties neighboring New York City has a lower age limit for buying cigarettes. And many Chinese Weibo users pointed out that perhaps the sales revenue for cigarettes to teenagers would simply go to a different county. Many Chinese Weibo users also applauded the bill and mentioned that China should also prohibit the selling of cigarettes to minors. OK, now let's take a look at some of their comments. Raising the age limits again? I think those tobacco producers would complain a lot about this new policy. It will definitely impact their revenue. Americans are not thinking straight. The tobacco industry can really increase a country's GDP. Chinese people seem to have more freedom than Americans because people in America can't smoke and drink whenever they want at whatever age they want. Even a four-year-old could buy cigarettes in China. The superiority of socialism is becoming more and more apparent. You are too naive. People can always find a loophole to get around government policies. The Chinese government should follow the example of New York in establishing a ban on smoking since we have a bigger population and there are many vendors who only care about earning profits. Even if China tries to carry out this policy, it will not work. We don't have an effective supervision and enforcement mechanism like in the U.S. I strongly suggest the Chinese government set up a new regulation so that people who buy cigarettes and alcohol must show their IDs. The vast majority of Chinese Internet users believe that China does not have any laws regarding minimum age requirements to buy alcohol and tobacco. And they will be partially correct, since it wasn't until 2006 that a minimum age for alcohol consumption was introduced, making it illegal for those under 18 years old to drink. Cigarettes, on the other hand, can be sold to minors, and it's not surprising to see a kid who goes on a cigarette run for their parents. Now, China is the world's largest consumer and producer of tobacco. It produces 42% of the world's cigarettes, and it's estimated that there are over 350 million smokers in the country. However, the government is trying to promote healthy living, and so in 2009, the Ministry of Health issued a formal decision to completely ban smoking in all health administration offices and medical facilities. But despite the government decree, smoking is mostly considered as socially acceptable almost anywhere in the country, even when it's technically illegal.